So my shorts channel, it's a beast with a whopping 20 million views and a bunch of viral hits. But here's the thing, my latest creations are hitting a wall, just a few thousand views and then crickets. It's time for a change up, a new game plan. And I'm about to craft a short from the ground up to target a cool million views. And I'll lay out the whole money making journey right here in this video. Ready to dive deep? Let's get into it. And by the time the credits roll in this video, you'll be armed with a viral strategy tailored for your next short, plus a comprehensive guide to making it happen regardless of your niche or how green you are to the game. Now, let's cut through the noise. This isn't your run of the mill, use chat GPT in Canva to flood the zone with 300 shorts in half an hour or clip out interviews from the web kind of guide. I've been down that road and trust me, it's a dead end. You'll pour your heart and soul into it and in the end, you'll end up with a big fat nothing. And on the off chance you hit the view jackpot, like with one of those AI generated shorts, don't count on YouTube to cut you a check. They don't pay for the same old song and dance. So let's not kid ourselves. It's time to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. So back to my channel for a sec, and it's all about Marvel Universe. And I've had a recipe for viral shorts that used to do the trick. It was a mix of patterns and trends that I noticed in my most successful videos. But that formula, it's gone stale. Einstein's words echo here. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, I'm not ready for a straight jacket just yet, so it's time to evolve. I'm about to hit the books, or well, the web in this case, and dig deep into what's really working for shorts at the moment. I'll be back faster than you can say quantum leap. All right, so three hours of intense research later, and voila, I've conjured up the new secret sauce. Now let's get cracking. The first misstep I was making with my old videos was the idea itself. If your idea is a dud, it's not gonna go anywhere, no matter how much you polish the script or the edit. So how do you land on a blockbuster idea? Keep an eye on the trends within your niche, or better yet, bend a trend to fit your niche. Sometimes giving an old topic your unique twist can work wonders, but we're here to play the odds to the max. A YouTube short centered on a hot off the press Marvel movie is more likely to go viral than to interview with Spider-Man actor from half a decade ago. But here's where being a true fan gives you the edge. I don't even need to peek at Google Trends because I'm already riding the hype wave. I know that Loki season two just dropped a trailer that's got fans buzzing. That's the sweet spot of being part of your audience. If you're genuinely passionate about the niche, you're already ahead of the game. Remember that guy from the Oscars, the one who gave the tearjerker of a speech? He said, mom, I just won an Oscar. That's the raw emotion we're shooting for here. We've got a video idea locked and loaded now. All right, let's talk strategy. We're not just throwing stuff at the the wall to see what sticks. We're crafting a narrative, setting the scene with a killer hook, and then delivering content that's not just good, it's got to be pause your scrolling and watch good. We'll dissect the anatomy of a viral short from scripting a story that grips viewers to voiceovers that resonate to edits that cut sharper than a katana. We'll layer in captions that catch the eye, music that moves, and sound effects that pop. But before we hit record, we're blueprinting a new strategy. It's not just about following a recipe, it's about understanding why each ingredient matters. We're going to analyze what makes a video pop, what makes people share, and what makes a short something viewers come back to again and again. And when I'm writing a short, I used to think, keep it quick, like a boxer, you know, hit fast and back off. You'd figure the short with the best stick rate around would win more views, right? But here's the twist. YouTube seems to dig the longer ones, at least from what I've seen. And I'm not sure why, but maybe because it keeps folks on YouTube longer. Think about it, if retention was as king, we'd all drop one second shorts and score crazy view counts, right? But that ain't YouTube's style. They're not looking for flash in the pan hits. And get this, longer shorts get more love on the homepage where people aren't quick to hit skip. My top viewed short, it raked in 70% of its views right from the YouTube homepage. Check out these numbers from a real pro. Turns out the viral shorts, they're not so short. And here's the deal, stretch them out a bit, get into that nitty gritty, make them meaty. And you know what else works? A killer hook. Like say you spot a TVA dude in Loki season two, but hold up, it's not even out yet. That's gonna make folks double take thinking they missed the release. That's the kind of gotcha moment we're aiming for with a hook. All right, here's a little insider tip for making your shorts grab attention. Start with a line like, Tom Holland knows more than you think. 
You see, that line alone piques curiosity and interest. People are going to wonder, what's Tom got up his sleeve? Then hit him with a jump scare for a quick laugh. That combo is golden. It hooks viewers and they're likely to stick with you until the very end. But hey, if that's too out there for you, let's talk about Hi Huey Kwan. His life's an epic tale and we're telling it in under a minute. Even with shorts, a dash of storytelling here works wonders. It draws viewers in. They're eager to see how it all unfolds right up to the very last second. And stories have power. They make people stick around hungry for that final scene. So you want the final scoop on our man Ki Huey Kwan without doing the homework? Just let Bing do the heavy lifting for us. Thank AI for that one, right? And once you snag the highlights and weave them into a narrative, here's a pro tip. Mix up the storytelling, right? Hearing it from one person is cool, but why not jazz it up? Bring in another voice, splice in some memes and make it pop. Take the Oscar moment, for instance. I'm dropping that in my short. I just won an Oscar. It hits right in the feels every time and that's your secret weapon, emotion. Whether it's a laugh, a scare, a pump up, or a happy tear, they stir those feelings. Somebody sedate me! <laughs> then hey, don't knock my humor, it's part of the charm. You're at the crossroads now. Option one, if you got that velvety voice, Grab a mic and let it rip. Read your script like you're serenading, but let's be real. You're probably eyeing option two, good old AI. There's a whole bunch of text-to-speech tools floating around right now, but my go-to is Eleven Labs. So hit up the link below if you want to give it a whirl. Here's what you do. Pick a voice or even cook up your own and then just drop your script in there to get your voice over rolling. In Loki season two, we saw this guy's a TVA worker. Sounds pretty decent, right? But let's notch it up a little. Toss in some commas, bang in an explanation point, maybe caps for emphasis, play with it to hit different tones and run it a few different times to really nail that perfect take. All right. Let's dive into the editing part. I'll be using Premiere Pro, but just so you know, these tricks work with any editing software. First things first, let's sync up our layouts. Shuffle those windows around until your screen looks like mine, or you know, with whatever layout you vibe with. Next, grab that AI generated voiceover and import it into your project. Then just drag it onto your timeline. Now grab the razor tool, it's slicing time. Chop out all those awkward pauses. And after that, shuffle those clips a bit, make them cozy, overlap them for a snappier pace. Give it a listen. Does it flow? Does it sound like a real person? Keep tweaking it until it's smooth all the way through. And there you go, nice work. All right, making videos, here's the lowdown. Head over to YouTube, type in stuff related to your topic, and snag those clips with any downloader site you find. Need more visuals? Pexels is your pal for stock videos and pics. And once you've got your haul, load it up into Premiere, match up those clips with your voiceover, and make sure they're on point with what you're saying. And hey, throw in a couple clips that beg for a click or a like to keep your viewers in the game. And just like that, you've got yourself a rough cut. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Kick things off by resizing your clips to snugly fit the screen. Then it's time to play director. Use keyframes to sprinkle in some zooms and pans to give your clips that buttery smooth motion. Hit the keyframe button, drag those handles, and watch the magic happen. You're aiming for that sleek effect where it starts off slow, ramps up, and then eases back into slow-mo. It just looks slick. And here's a hot tip from the pros. Splash on some graphics. Think circles, arrows, the works. They're like viewer magnets. And don't just take my word for it. The short I whipped up using these tricks, it exploded to over 38 million views. It's pretty insane, right? So go ahead, deck your video out with some of these bad boys. Use keyframes to make them follow the action. Trust me, this is a game changer here. And every viral short's got the secret ingredient. It's like a pinch of salt that just makes everything pop. It's captions. Simple, right? But get this, they can seriously ramp up your watch time. Now the style, that's all you. It's about your vibe and your brand. But for a little inspo, I rock yellow text on a black backdrop. It keeps it punchy. And I've got two sizes, petite for the standard stuff and jumbo for the real juicy bits. Want to steal my settings? Go for it. But here's the thought. Why not craft your own signature style? That way, when someone stumbles upon your video, they'll know it's yours before they even hit play. So stand out, don't blend in. If you're just using the same generic auto caption tool, you're just gonna be another face in the crowd. So mess around with it, right? Mix up the fonts, the colors, the sizes. And when you've hit the jackpot and it screams you, lock it down. Save those settings as presets 
and you're golden for the next round. All right, you've got your captions styled up. Now hold down Alt drag to duplicate for each new bit of text, switch up the words and boom, you're all set. But wait, feels like we're missing a beat, right? Enter sound effects. Now there's a whole other ball game here with this, but if you're a newbie, snag a free sound pack off YouTube to start. If you need something specific, just hit up YouTube and search for whatever you need. You know, like tension sound effects, whooshes, cinematic, laughs, you get the gist. Layer those sounds in, tweak the volume so it's just right, and you're almost at the finish line. The cherry on top, music, of course. Sure, you could pick a trending track, but I like to dig through my own playlist and pick something that really gels with the video's vibe. Just keep it down, don't drown out your voiceover, or you'll have the viewers grumbling in the comments about not hearing a word. Too dark, too dull, here's a quick fix. Whip up an adjustment layer. This little trick allows you to tweak the colors on everything below it in one fell swoop. Slap that adjustment layer over your whole timeline, then scoot over to the effects panel and hunt down Lumetri color, drag that onto your adjustment layer, now crank up the brightness, splash in some color, and just don't go overboard here. If it's looking like a cave scene, bump up the exposure, dial in a touch of saturation, a pinch of contrast, and fiddle around until it sinks. Remember, we're not going for a neon disco. Keep it real. Wrapping up, I've got this urge to toss in a light effect over the top. I can't say why, it just feels right. And with that final touch, we're ready to export this masterpiece. So it's been a day since the short went live and it's sitting at 5,000 views. Now that's it, after all that effort, like 5,000 views, you start to wonder, is it all just a roll of the dice? Is there no secret sauce for shorts? Maybe I missed the mark on the topic or the edit wasn't up to scratch. You know, who'd bother with this? Having one of those days, are we? <laughs> yeah, I get it, but hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Think about your past hits. Did any of them explode overnight? No. Patience is the game. Don't just park yourself there, hitting refresh on the view count. Do not stop refreshing your screen. Refresh, 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 refresh. You know, banking everything goes on that one video, that's a no-go. Einstein would be shaking his head, right? But that's besides the point. You've got a strategy now that's solid gold. Keep churning out those videos. Each one is a step up in your game. And whoever you are, mystery motivator, big thanks. That pep talk was on point. I appreciate it, buddy. Just gotta keep in mind, it's all about the ride, not the finish line. All right, 30 days have flown by since I dropped that short. I didn't just sit on my hands, I pumped out five more using the same secret sauce. And guess what? That short I was sweating over, it didn't hit a million views, it smashed past two million. That grind of research, scripting and cutting, it paid off big time. But hold up, there's a twist. You know how I was all about riding the wave of what's hot? Like how a fresh Marvel flick is primed for going viral? Turns out I had it twisted. I rolled the dice on a short about an ancient Spider-Man actor interview and boom, seven million views. It's now the king of my channel. Go figure, right? So in under a month, we hit the jackpot, 10 million views, raked in five times the dough than ever before and put the channel back in the spotlight. Here it is, the golden playbook, all my secrets in one place. Tailor it to your scene, build your own hit list. But here's the thing, it's been a month since the last short and the numbers are dipping, the buzz is fading. It looks like I'm back to square one now, trying to crack the code all over again. Only this time, I'm not flying solo. So let's gear up for another round. The clock's ticking, feeling the rhythm here, it's time for a new uprising. If you want to really learn more, check out my free school community called Elevate. It's 100% free and comes with the full length courses on how to get free traffic from social media to send to affiliate marketing offers so you can make $10,000, $20,000, even $30,000 per month or more. So I'll see you inside my school community called Elevate and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.